guess it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not, but. Oh, if you turn the gas on, it might help. Whoops. Good thing it's a redneck water heater. Well, I'll just go right over that porosity. You ain't seen nothing here. Like it never happened. Cleaned up the other one, but we're gonna do it. Right. What's a little rust? No big deal, that's what. somewhat straight. Is this thing going to be pretty? No. Is it going to work? I hope so. I'd say that's probably good. Okay, so. Well, there's that part done. I don't know if you figured out what we're doing yet, but follow along and you'll see. I don't know if you can tell, but we're not doing things too exact. Doesn't really matter. Other than this chunk of three quarter cost me uh, 50 bucks. That kind of matters, but ridiculous. Price of this stuff nowadays. Copper's the new gold, I'm pretty sure. being too precise. You know, if I was smart, I'd have a workbench here. I'm going to make that happen. Shit 
doesn't start much better than that usually. So it's the same whether it's minus 30 or plus 30. Like a piece of shit. The forks will probably be on the ground in about 10 minutes too. Yeah. Thing doesn't uh, doesn't start with a shit. Doesn't run with really shit. It's got no power. Hydraulic leak down. I did a review on it before, said so I was happy with it. I changed my mind. That was a 50-hour review, I think. Well, it's got 98 hours on it now, so consider this my 100-hour review. This thing's a piece of shit. Should have never bought it. Spend the extra 10 grand and buy a Kubota. As uh, this orange paint ain't worth a shit. So, of course, that's just my opinion, but what the hell do I know? Okay, well, hopefully, you guys can see something. We're gonna clean all these up, put some flux on them, put it all together. And we'll solder everything. Or foxy. Nobody ever accused me of being very smart. Well, the whole reason I'm doing this is uh, I got a water heater in here, but being like everything else that was in this shop when I bought it, it had froze. The guy said, oh yeah, I blew out all the lines. I did this, I did that. Everything was burst. Uh, water meter was burst. Everything was burst. So, more of the story, don't listen to anybody else. Don't take anybody's word for anything. Put it that way. So, yeah, maybe I'm just bitter, I don't know. But... On like that. Hmm. Yeah, this will be. I forgot what I was doing for a sec. Wait. I don't have enough fittings to do what I wanted to do. Damn it. Sorry, just gotta think about how I wanna do it. I kinda know. It's all in my head, like everything else I build. It's all in my head. Everybody always asks me, well, how are you going to do this? I don't know, I haven't done it yet. So, that's how I operate. Everything I do is in my head until it isn't. I can kind of explain it, but usually I just have to do it. Well, you can see something kind of behind this thing now, but oh well, deal with it. Kind of like that. See if that's gonna work. Oh, that's gonna work perfect. I don't know if you guys have figured out what I'm doing here yet, but I'm basically making a coil that's gonna run inside this pipe, and I'm gonna run a trigger torch through it, or a weed burner for you guys in the States. In Canada, we call them a tiger torch. Don't ask me why, don't know who the tiger is, but that's what we call them. Make sure that one's gonna fit in there. Oh, 
That's going to be perfect. Right, so that's going to be. But I didn't buy the right fitting, so I guess we're using a union. Went back twice even, still didn't get the right thing. That's usually how that works too for me, so. It's kind of like that. Cut it twice and it's still too short. Well, go to the store four times, it's still on the right shit. this end then we'll screw with that end after how it now is the fun part i'm not that great at soldering never happened it now a lot of plumbing over the years still not good at it like i said i'm not very good at this never know when it's fucking ready Always put way too much. You know, the usual. And then I always look at it and go, well, there's not enough in there. And I put more on. There's almost more on. That one's probably gonna leak. Didn't really take. Probably don't have enough flux on either. Yeah, that one's definitely gonna leak. Oh well. I don't need any pointers. I don't plan on doing this for a job. So, save your breath. For the twice a year I do any soldering, what I do is just fine. See? Then you get one and it just takes it so nice. So, what the hell's the problem with the rest of them? That end's done. What we're gonna do, go to this end, and do those ones, and then we'll worry about putting our fittings and stuff on that. Like I said, I don't need any pointers. I don't plan on getting any better at it. I know how to weld, that's good enough for me. All right, I uh, saved you from the boredom of watching me botch some more soldering, but I got the fittings soldered on the end, so throw some uh, Teflon on these adapter fittings, go from the three-quarter MPT to a hose, a garden hose, a uh, male thread, so I don't know what the hell, the, there's a specific term for those or not, I'm sure there is. I'm gonna call them garden hose fittings because I can. Um, imagine that, it's still hot. Oh, very hot. Good thing I'm tough and stupid. Mostly stupid. I really, really don't care if this thing leaks, like I say. Redneck water heater. Basically, I have this truck behind me here, this T370 that's been leaking oil for probably 15 years and nobody's done nothing about it, so I gotta get all that shit off. So, anyways, see the idea here. That slides in there. Maybe not that far. I got a tiger torch in the other end. Something like that. I have water coming in, going out. You know, throw the tiger torch in that end while water's circulating, and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. 
All right, here's the setup. I got the water running already. She's ice cold. Um, yeah, let's fire it up and see what happens. Obviously some of my uh, thunder joints are leaking there. She's dripping on that end, but like I said, I'm not too worried about that. So, let's see what happens here. I don't know how high to turn it, but it's probably too high already. No heat yet, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is all for nothing. So this is the next best thing. So there you go.